Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time to the Farts and Crap Show, where today I'm going to be starting a fresh file here, and we're going to be doing the Richter playthrough, which, um, to those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, there's no dialogue, like, the map is pretty much the same, uh, some key items are actually just like, you know, different. And, whoa, what? how did you not get hit by that? That was weird. Uh, that's gonna be the cross though. Uh, map completion doesn't matter. Um, there's like a few other differences. But yeah, there's no, there's no inventory, there's no leveling up. Uh, yeah, and, uh, can't get through those guys like that, which is a, a very important side note. And yeah, going up here is completely unnecessary, however, can get the Holy Water, which is the best sub-weapon for Richter, and um, this is an early way to get a save point, so... Yeah, I don't care about that. And I don't care about that. I do want to stock up on hearts, but... Uh, anyway, it's part 17 today of Symphony of the Night. My 200.6% walkthrough. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Um, the thing I learned a while ago is the life max up bottles um, actually do... Um, they do increase your HP. I did not know that. Like, for the longest time. So there are some avoidable bosses I'm definitely not going to be avoiding. And uh, there's no cutscenes, there's no dialogue. Um, it's just a much more arcade Castlevania kind of situation. Taking my usual route through the castle, which I'm gonna go ahead and avoid. Well, ignore that save point since we're gonna have another one very soon, and I haven't taken any damage. Oh, didn't see you there, dude. There we nope. Screwed up. Okay. I believe. Wait, no, there's nothing up here, right? Sub weapons? Yeah, just sub weapons. However, there is going to be another max life up right here. Top of also increasing your max life, uh, they also heal you completely. Pretty great. And 
yeah, if you just like thread the needle on a lot of these, it makes a uh, makes the process of getting through here a lot easier. Oops. There we go. Save coin just in case things go south. And uh any jewel of open doors also are automatically open. So because even if I were to go see the librarian, um he is not where he would usually be. So oops. So technically, we don't have to do the boss fight up there. Either we can just go straight this way. Which, I mean, getting health increases is great and all, but if we play carefully, we're not going to need them. So. And I'm kind of just going to see how fast I can do this. Sometimes I screw up right here, so I'm just going to... Um... Also, there's one special move with Richter I'm really bad with, and that would be the the dash thing. Which, yeah, that you can do it repeatedly, but um, it's like up, down, quarter circle, forward, attack, and uh, I'm just I'm just not that good with it, so. Yeah, the holy water is pretty decent in its basic uh, form on certain enemies. But yeah, these guys can uh, hit quite hard, so we'll just be careful. Oh my and yeah, if you screw up with the throw like I just did. You're going to be dealing with more crap than you want to deal with. That is one. I probably should have just left alone. Alright, here's just a bunch of hearts. I have this room, which I think we just want to go across this room. Thankfully you have iframes during- oh wait. Not as many as I remember. So, that was a lot of un a lot of avoidable damage there. What is, it? what is this again? Oh, Colosseum entrance we can't use yet. All right, that's fair. Um, however, these are always two big hearts, so it's handy dandy. Uh, and this part is a little tricky, purely because of those guys. So you kind of want to alternate here. Um, go straight up and uh, it's not a terrible idea just to use Hydro Storm even if you probably don't need it totally fine um, also gonna have another max life yeah there we go so that's handy Storm to hit the griff. And it'll die. Get that HP refill and increase. 
and Get this dude. Really? Yeah, that's the uh, that's the potential downside there. And this should be a save point, I think. Yeah, so we're good. And uh, you do have to go through both castles, so you kind of want to plan your route a little bit. Alright, coming up in the castle keep here. And, um... I could go in here to do one more boss fight, which... I mean, it is very quick. Wait, no, no. This is the teleport room. What am I talking about? Right? Um, yeah. Yeah, the boss fight is above. I think so, right? Yeah, this is the boss fight. Thing. Well, actually, no, there's a safe point. Just gonna hit that up just in case. And yeah, since we're coming up on the castle keep here, there are gonna be quite a few other HP and increases and heart increases. Ugh. Yeah, you don't need all the hard stuff. Doesn't matter. Oh, let me jump to. I guess it'd be the gravity fist. Be a decent name for that. And there's actually nothing up here except for extra hearts, which we are fine. I don't know why I made it a point to come up here. There we go. 14 minutes, regular castle done. Alright, and on this side we're gonna have the uh Uh, three more HP increases. Right down here, where you would ordinarily get the Bastard Sword. And Cloak? Royal, Royal Cloak. That's the one. There we go. The other ones don't really matter. Another hurt thing. I'm trying to just like get the side of them so you can see them before I grab them. And this should still be a save point, which it is. Good. And... 
get through this next part, you actually have to go up and around, which kind of sucks. Um, because this Alucard, ordinarily, you could just uh, go up through that. Oh, and actually, we don't have to do that, because that's a teleport room. This is actually the right way forward. Because this will be the Darkwing back plus fight, where Grossamon was. And instead of getting the Ring of Lad, I believe, it's just the more HP, you know? Alright, and I know in a previous episode I said it was going to go the other way, because like, oh, that seems like so much safer to go through the Coliseum. Uh, no, because like a dummy, I forgot about the, um, the enemies. That, uh, I would have to deal with that in that direction. Wow. Um, you know, why am I even fighting that guy? Doesn't make any sense. How? Really? You can't make that? That's dumb. You have to go over. It really looks like you can make that. Um, but yeah, if you just stay up top, as you can see, like, their bombs hit the ceiling. So, it's, uh, much more simple. Can't remember if there's anything good in here, but... Oh, there is going to be an HP increase. Right. Because there is in the, in the uh, normal version of this castle. He didn't die. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. You know what? That almost defeated the purpose of coming down here. No, it's still an HP increase, it's fine. But yeah, these guys are troublesome. Oh crap. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, the Medusa heads are mostly just a nuisance. Okay. Now we're on the other side. Oh shit. There are enemies... ...all around here. Alright, there we go. However... That was all I needed. Just like that. We are to the outer wall. And I don't want the book. Let's go ahead and save. From here, it's, um... I think we're pretty close. Um, the marble, the black marble gallery, it's like, it can be kind of tricky to get through, but that's about it. Like, getting there will be pretty simple. Um,
And as per usual, that is the teleport room. This would be the doppelganger boss fight, I want to say. Um, no, this is the library. Right? Yeah, this is the library. The next one will be the... Uh, well, I guess the creature in the in Reverse Castle. Um, this one will go straight there. Pretty much, yeah. And this is gonna be a super easy fight. You just Hydro Storm, and he's dead. really easy to get all your hearts back. Thankfully, because we just used a bunch. And really easily save here, so... Um, and yeah, we're not going to have another heart refill room for a while, so... Probably just going to do this until... So we have like 100 again, or 99, or damn near close, like 80. How many shots? Oh, they take one? Okay. Alright, oh, that's not bad. I'll just do it one more time. There we go. And there we go. Alright, this should also be no. Oh, I think it's that one. That's gonna be a Max HP increase. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> right through here is the Black Marble Gallery. Or the Necromancy Laboratory? I don't actually remember which is which. Or like... When one starts and the other begins, I guess. When one stops and the other begins. Wow, that's the same thing. <laughs> when one starts and the other begins. Like, uh, what? Yeah, plus you can just do these, like, little hops to get through here. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, made it. Ah, you son of a... Don't. You know, I was going to be nice about it. No, I don't want the axe. Just just go away. Go away. Thank you. Oh, those are the ankle uh, busters. Okay, I remember this. Okay, so... There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, this, um, this area is very 
very dangerous. So just gonna do that and then Nova Skeletons, not gonna deal with any of that. Ooh, nope. Not gonna deal with that either. Definitely want that to disappear, and I believe it's up in this part. Where you need to go. I think so. Shit, nope. Nope. That one was close. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was uh that was dangerous. Um I haven't died yet though, right? I don't know. This is not my first attempt, guys. I already tried to record one of these, like, no death Richter runs, and I screwed it up pretty bad because I went the other way. Um. Wait, what? Ah, shit. This was not necessary. I didn't need to go this way. Fuck. Well. The upside here is the other way is a save point. So I guess kinda it was worth it to get the health back and whatnot. Wasted two hydro storms. Oh, that is so okay. Yeah, that was really damaging. I hate the ankle crushers. They're like the freaking worst part about this whole thing. Why'd I risk it? Oh, because I'm really trying to not die here. Um. Alright, I'm gonna try this the risky way, but I'm running low on hearts, so. Nope. All right. I forgot I can do that. I always forget about the like really useful shit. It's like really. Ooh. Nope. It just goes across the ground. Like easy peasy. Alright, there's no ankle crushes here. No? Good. Okay. Oh fuck the guardians. Um to be honest, I completely forgot about these guys. Oh wow. Oh wow. Iframes, iframes, okay. Alright, made it. I was like, why is it not open? It's supposed to open. Oh man, okay. Um Wow, I didn't have to make this a long episode or anything. We're just gonna Richter play through half an hour. Which is by no means like a really good time. It's a it's it's pretty good. Not bad. Especially considering I'm not a speedrunner. Like by any means. There we go. 
now. About the angle there, and then I was like, oh yeah. There we go. I mean, there's no possible way I'm gonna fuck this up, but still. In case the game fucks up. Mmm. Man, I need food. I needed food like two hours ago. But I have water. Just remind myself that I'm like 80% water. And the human body needs water like 10 times more than it needs food. Bye-bye, Shaft. And that's it. That's it. I did a Richter run, no death. Awesome. <laughs> I feel really good about that, because I... I don't think I've ever been able to do it before. But yeah, in my previous attempt, when I went the other way, where I was planning it out, like, oh yeah, I can just go this way, which will be way easier. I died like four or five times. To the point where I was just like, you know what, screw it. I know the other way a lot better, so why don't I just go there? Yeah, taking that risky jump up into the underground caverns, though, I that was not a good idea. Yeah, even here. Oh, no, 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 unsurprisingly, on the true ending episode, that, uh, that episode got copyright claimed. Exactly like I thought it would. I can just start and select, right? And soft reset will work on the credits, yes? Good. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, um, sadly, this is the final episode of the PlayStation version of this game because I need to switch back to the, um, I need to switch back to the modern version that I don't really like, uh, Castlevania Requiem, to play as Maria who I've actually never even beaten the game as Maria. Like, not once. So, that'll be interesting. And, um, actually really looking forward to that. Even though it's a version of the game I'm not a big fan of. Uh, it'll be good. It'll be worth it. Yeah, luck mode is pretty baller. <laughs> I'm going to have to try this at some point. I, 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 I'm a fan. Gotta say, I'm a fan. So, um, yeah. And as a reminder, the reason I don't like the Castlevania Requiem version is because it's the PSP version of the game. So, um, yeah, I mean, the music, a lot of the audio sounds cleaned up, it sounds good. But the sprites look wrong, the pixel ratio, the aspect ratio is wrong, um, like, the colors look off, uh, the mix of like 3D and 2D is really weird, um, because they're a different resolution, 
like the 3D is upscaled for some stupid reason. Like for example, um, the pixel count here doesn't change when you go in here and see a 3D polygon. It fits right in, even though it's 3D. It looks fine. However, in the Requiem version, the de dodeca that's not a dodecahedron. Um, the hexadedron? Octoc? Oc Is that an eight sided? No, 18. I don't remember. I used to know the name of these things. I think it's a 10 sided die. I'm not positive. I do have a D&D &D dice set around here, though. I could look it up. Uh, I think it's the ten. I think it's a ten-sided. Might be a twelve-sided. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, that thing in the Requiem version is high res, like it's upscaled, and everything else is like incorrectly ratioed pixels. So it looks weird. Um, plus, yeah, the voice acting is different. And uh, I'm not really a fan of who they picked for Alucard, or anybody for that matter. The Librarian, I guess, sounds better, but there's a certain charm to the uh, voice acting in this game, and it's legendary. Um, and I think that's it for the most part. Sprites look wrong, the effects are, look wrong, the colors look wrong, the aspect ratio is wrong, the voice acting is very wrong, and yeah, everything else is okay. That is a lot of things, that is a lot of problems, and I'm kind of surprised more people weren't outraged about the Requiem version, like, they just ported over the PSP version, which... Yeah, not good. It's okay for uh, Rondo's Blood, and I haven't really done a comparison because I that I do actually own the Virtual Console release for that as well. Which, um, for whatever reason, was released on the Wii, was not brought over to the Wii U Virtual Console. So, after the Wii Virtual Console, there wasn't, like, a digital way to purchase the game. Which is very, very strange. I don't know why. And, then, and like, this is a rant for a different video, but I think that's the real problem people have with, like, Nintendo abandoning the whole Virtual Console service. It's not... as much... The service exactly what it, how it was it's about the games that are getting left in the dust because there's quite a few quite a few and sure some publishers might release a better port of those games or a better way to play those games in the future but we already had a pretty good way to play them and we already paid for those versions the fact that you can't play them on the current platform is just ass backwards bullshit but anyway i'm gonna get going though folks thank you all for being here greatly appreciate you guys sticking through um and through this whole thing it's been it's been awesome so for the next version the next version for the next episode uh prepare for everything to look weird in 1080 60 like it is gonna be in 1080p um but yeah it's it's not gonna look right oh yeah the sound effects too all the sound effects pretty much most of them are different and they sound wrong that was the other problem i had that i wanted to mention sound effects sound like shit so anyway Thank you for being here. Greatly appreciate it. And of course, a very special thank you to the Farts and Crap Show members, Old Cranky Gamer, and Devalis Draconis. Thank you guys so much for checking out that join button down below, choosing to support the show a bit more directly. It greatly helps. Until next time, everybody, take care, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.